Uh, for Eastern Canada, Mel, you're so right. I mean, thunderstorms and unsettled. I've been saying this over and over and over again over the last couple of weeks, and it continues as we head into the weekend. You may be running on zero sleep, Mel. We are too. In my household, thunderstorms are the worst when you have toddlers, uh, but the worst if you're just trying to get some sleep. So for the Toronto area, the storm started firing up around midnight last night. As you can see, there's some pretty intense rainfall. Heaviest rainfall this morning now is east of Kingston, up towards Ottawa, just south of the capital region, and then just south of the border as well, heading into portions of southern Quebec. And then in behind that, we've got more storms that are crossing the Great Lakes. Still this morning, severe thunderstorm warnings are persisting for the water. Waterloo region and for Kingston, the biggest concern is just the high intensity rainfall. It's far too much for many of the sewer systems just to be able to handle in that short period of time. So you may encounter some localized uh, pooling of water, possibly some roads have been washed out. Likely as that rain moves its way out, that heaviest rain, we'll see some of that situation improve just as the sewer system has time to catch up. But take a look at some of these estimated rainfall totals. I mean, some of this around Toronto has already fallen. Uh, an estimate made of maybe 15 to 20 millimeters in, in the early morning hours, but possibly up to about 30. Uh, east of the city, you can see substantial amounts. Kingston getting up to 63 millimeters. So heavy pockets of rain embedded in these thunderstorms. Where do they go from here? Well, they slide up into southern Quebec, into portions uh, just uh, right around Montreal and then further east. Now, mid-afternoon, there will be some periods where those who have seen heavy rainfall through the morning get a break from the wetter weather. However, into the mid-afternoon, those storms will fire up again. By mid-evening by about 9 p.m. Most of that activity has moved into Quebec and then Atlantic Canada as well. So some areas around Cape Breton in New Brunswick dealing with thunderstorms later on tonight. For Saturday, we see that wetter weather move over to the Atlantic provinces and behind that, look at that, sunshine returns across Ontario. So there is some good news in the forecast for some. Most of the day on Saturday looks pretty good, not just in Ontario, but across Quebec as well. This is a long weekend for you. So pretty good news if you're hoping to do some camping. Uh, have a campfire. It should be pretty good on Saturday. Atlantic Canada, again, wetter and cloudier. Now for Sunday, starts good, right? Look at what happens into the afternoon. We see these thunderstorms developing once again right across southern Ontario and portions of southern Quebec. So a little bit unsettled into the weekend. Uh, coming up in the next half hour, we have to detail where we're likely to see high tides this weekend, plus where dense fog advisories continue for a third day in a row. That's coming up. Right now, here's your local forecast. And then in front of that, very strong winds would likely be advancing your way. This morning, uh, if it had been light out, we likely would have seen some of that activity across southern Ontario because thunderstorms have been the dominant weather pattern. For eastern Canada, for the Atlantic provinces, it was a very quiet night. Newfoundland, a few showers, sure. You see in the maritime provinces, though, very clear conditions. That is about to change a little bit later on. As you can see right in behind me, there is uh, some wetter weather moving its way in for portions of the Atlantic City. So today you can see the forecast a wee bit wet. Halifax, Yarmouth, St. John, wetter for sure. Rain pretty consistent through much of your day. Fredericton up towards Lab City as well. Uh, Newfoundland, Labrador, we've got some uh, showers mixed in. Charlottetown, you do stay dry. Now, high tide will likely be a concern for a couple different counties heading into the weekend, not just today, but also Saturday, Sunday. St. John County in New Brunswick, Yarmouth and Shelburne counties as well. Just expect right along the shoreline that tide to be elevated uh, and localized flooding is possible. Dense fog advisories persisting for the Southern Avalon Peninsula for the third day in a row. Uh, as the day progresses, that fog will retreat from the coastline and visibility will finally improve. It is a rainy day for portions of Southern Quebec and thunderstorms are likely as well through Montreal, Sherbrooke, the Eastern Townships up towards Quebec City as well. Now that activity is already prominent this morning uh, and tremendous lightning strikes with these storms so they're very loud and rumbly plus when we're getting into these reds that are flashing here this is high intensity rainfall so that has actually prompted some severe thunderstorm warnings uh, that have just been dropped in the last minute or so but uh, they were issued from Environment Canada because rainfall amounts were 50 to 75 millimeters per hour so that's likely to overwhelm any system that was Sir Kingston and Waterloo in just the last little bit thunderstorms are possible through the rest of the day though right across southern Ontario a little bit further north it's a quieter story Sault Ste. Marie though you're dealing with fog and areas around uh, the Great Lakes particularly around uh, Lake Ontario that saw thunderstorms a little bit earlier uh, likely fog is going to be your concern west coast I mean we got sunshine still persisting over BC uh, so look at these of of Kelsey, Kelsey <laughs> is like this is the gnarliest thing I've ever 
toe, toe, toe no. Ugh. Toe no? No, no to the toe. No toe, no, no to the toe. To the toe. <laughs> it was in service at one point. It was in oh, service. It just oh, kept on getting worse. Just save us from ourselves. Just save <laughs> us. So bad, save so us. bad. Okay, we are moving on to something a little more pleasant this morning, and that is your forecast. But unfortunately, uh, so many areas dealing with rain and cool temperatures. I mean, where is summer? You know where summer is? It's in BC, and we'll get there in just a second. And you'll enjoy the forecast, uh, even if you're not getting to soak up that sun yourself. We'll enjoy it for all our friends out in BC. Uh, for Atlantic Canada, we do have some rain moving its way into the maritime provinces for today. Watch out for high tides in southern New Brunswick and southern Nova Scotia right through your weekend. Dense fog in the southern Avalon Peninsula, but 21 today in St. John's and 18 in Corner Brook. Uh, through Quebec, we are seeing thunderstorms, particularly in the southern cities, so Montreal through the eastern townships. Quebec City will likely just have straight up rain in 22. Uh, scattered thunderstorms across southern Ontario through the day today. Fog in Sault Ste. Marie. Sunshine in northwestern Ontario this morning, but thunderstorms possible a little bit later on. Winnipeg. 14 today with rainfall. Uh, there were frost advisories in Alberta overnight. They've now been dropped. But look at these daytime highs. I mean, we're in the teens through Saskatchewan where there's sun, but rain takes over. Scattered showers in Alberta once again. It's also quite windy in Saskatchewan and Manitoba once again for today, kind of mirroring what you had yesterday. Then we slide over into B.C., and look at this, 27 today in Kelowna, 22 in Vancouver, 23 in Victoria, 22 in Prince George, even Whitehorse tapping in on the 20s. You know it's a bad day uh, in Brandon when it's only 14, a great day in Whitehorse when it's 20. Canada, that's a look at your forecast. If we need sunshine, we have to head west. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna head over to Mel. The Space Original Series, Orphan Black, it's coming to an end after five. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to your morning. Yes, hope you're having a great start to mm. your Friday. Friday. Um, it's Friday, guys. Friday. No, Friday. It's Friday. It is a Friday. Yeah, we I like that. call it Friday here in these parts. Yeah. Yes, very, very true. It gets annoying after only... Yeah, we start with you because, come on, you got the best forecast in the country. Sunshine and high pressure. And you can see this ridge of high pressure is really amplified with our satellite picture off in the Pacific. Uh, there's not a lot of cloud. There's not much going on, and this high pressure holds right into the weekend. So enjoy the sun. Temperatures in the 20s. Look at the detailed forecast for BC today. I mean, up to 27 today in Nelson, 28 in Penticton, similar for Kelowna as well. Uh, great to see the dry forecast there. Of course, we know the region is still recovering from flooding earlier in the season. Now, for Alberta today, we've got... Look at this, you guys, you guys, we have snow falling at the higher terrain. I didn't even notice that a second ago, just did. Uh, yeah, it's been so chilly. There are frost advisories around Calgary overnight. Saskatchewan, it's going to be sunny, but temperatures in the high teens today. A little bit more rain as we head into Manitoba, but scattered showers and quite windy across the region as well. This is about day three of these amplified winds. Uh, definitely a lessening in severity as the week goes on. However, still windy. Now, thunderstorms. That's the biggest concern across southern Ontario. Further north, we've got a wee bit of fog through Sault Ste. Marie and then scattered showers up in towards the northwest. But this line of thunderstorms, this will persist on and off through today uh, in southern Ontario, lasting until evening. Then it shifts its way further east. So southern Quebec through the day today, Montreal, Sherbrooke, up towards Quebec City. Anticipate that wet forecast. And then no into the Maritimes. The rain is coming. It'll hit New Brunswick and southern Nova Scotia first. Uh, Newfoundland, Labrador, I mean, it's okay. Hey, you got a few showers, temperatures in the 20s, but Southern Avalon Peninsula, you're under a fog advisory for day three in a row. Canada, those are your top weather stories. Now here's your local forecast. Ardu, it is cool and rainy across much of our country today, but uh, where the temperature is a little bit higher is in portions of eastern Canada. Look at this. We're anywhere in between the low and mid-20s. Many areas, unfortunately, are below seasonal, but as we head over to Ottawa, Montreal, this is pretty typical temperatures. However, not so typical. The thunderstorms that are sweeping across uh, both provinces. Into Atlantic Canada, all that active weather is heading into the Maritimes, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia first. Newfoundland, Labrador, there are a few showers right across the province, but temperatures are okay today. High teens, low 20s. Now the thunderstorms really right across the Great Lakes. So a little bit further north, we're just seeing that moisture pushing its way in. Uh, north Bay, that's giving uh, some uh, fog this morning. Sault Ste. Marie as well. Up towards Timmins, we're also seeing a similar story with a few showers. Thunder Bay, 
today, you will get pockets of sunshine, but anticipate showers mixed in as well. Rainy weather takes over as we head over to Manitoba and Winnipeg today, getting up to 14. It'll be quite windy as well. That wind continues in through Saskatchewan with temperatures in the high teens, but a little more sunshine mixed in. Showers take over into Alberta. In fact, this morning, uh, the radar has been indicating that at the higher terrain in the Rockies, some of that precipitation is falling as snow. Snow. What is it, June 23rd? It's happening. And then we cross over the boundary into BC and it's 27 today in Kelowna. Lots of sun for the BC coast as well. So it is a country that is divided by weather today, but we are united here on the show and we've got a great story coming up about that. For that, let's send it over to our very own Melissa Grello.